In today's video, we're going to be discussing the content that has finally been announced for the Halo 4 PC flight. So stick around. Now the following information can be found over at halowaypoint.com. The link will be in the description in case you guys want to go ahead and take a look at this for yourself. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the information. Work continues as we push towards our upcoming Halo Insider flight, which we hope to kick off late next week, if all goes according to plan. Of course, flighting is flexible and somewhat unpredictable by nature. So as we continue to work through the Rings 1 and 2 environments, we could encounter blockers that delay the move to Ring 3. Currently, the team is continuing assessments of new features like crossplay, input-based matchmaking, and server region selection. Ideally, our goal is to get these features into the Ring 3 flight for PC and Xbox, but given the complexities and dependencies, there are some risks that may push these out of the initial flight and into a mid-flight patch. The team is continuing to work on these areas and are very eager to get these features into your hands for testing and feedback before they are released for the retail game. We should get better sense of how things are shaping up following more Ring 1 and 2 coverage this weekend. For now, we're still targeting the end of next week to kick off the flight, so please keep your eyes and ears open for the final word next week. Now, currently, as of the recording of this video, it is October 10th. It is a Saturday, so I would be expecting at least by next week at this time, there is a good possibility that we will be playing the Halo 4 flight. Now, the features that are going to be flighted and otherwise noted, and these all have an asterisk by them, so these, not all of them, may show up in the flight or with a patch that is midway through the flight. Input-based matchmaking and crossplay is one of these things that may not show up in the beginning. Server region selection is another one that may not. Advanced video graphic options for PC and text chat availability and text chat moderation. Now, the Halo 4 campaign content is going to be Requiem, Forerunner, Reclaimer, Shutdown, The Composer. The Halo 4 campaign playlist content is Canyon Combat. The Halo 4 Spartan Ops content is Departure, Land Grab, Sniper Alley, The Challenge, Sacred, Core, Artifact, Cleanup, Force Science, Hacksaw, Pelican Down, and Gargan. The Halo 4 multiplayer maps that we can expect are Adrift, Exile, Haven, Longbow, Meltdown, Ragnarok, Impact, Landfall, Skyline, Perdition, and Pitfall. Now, as you all know, the MCC has seen its addition of many new nameplates over the course of the journey, and the team is readying another special nameplate that will eventually be awarded to Halo insiders who have participated in the flighting program, and there will share more details later on. But of course, here is a sneak peek at the current plate that they are talking about, which is a Halo Insider plate. I currently have one that just says MCC Insider, and it's a black background with white text. But this does look much better, and this is something that I will probably always have equipped once I get it. Of course, the article moves on talking about the process and how to register for the Halo Insider program for PC and the Xbox. That is, of course, done on the Halo Waypoint site, and they have links all over on their website on how to and where to be able to sign up for this. So if you are interested, again, I definitely recommend that you register. You may not be getting in on the first initial flights. Now I've been in every single flight. Oddly enough, when it came to the ODST flight, I got in on the Xbox, but it was about almost a week after the flighting had started on PC. And it was the first flight that was available on PC that I actually wasn't invited to. So if you are registered for this and you don't get in right away, then trust me, just go ahead and wait. Chances are you will be invited. But as always, don't forget, in order to be part of the conversation and have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment in this section down below. If you guys are new around here, go ahead and check out some of the videos on the screen. I upload content weekly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I've got my social media and of course, support for the channel is there as well. But until next time, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for joining me here for this flighting update and I'll see all of you in the next video.